Bo Schembechler's 200th in his coaching career, and I'll tell you right now, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> 300 yards passing. Now that's not the Bo Schembechler no, I know. It's no way for a man to win his 200. Isn't that terrible? It's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> 310 yards passing. Jim Harbaugh sets a record against Wisconsin. What a game for him, and yet I think that you probably would have liked to have run some more, huh? <laughs> well, we got over 200 yards rushing, but our goal was to get 225. And um, we haven't hit our goal rushing yet this year, so we got a little work to do there. <laughs> Jamie Morris didn't make the trip, and one of the concerns was how the backups would do. And Thomas Wilcher really filled in well. Tom's a good back, and he runs hard, and, and he's a dedicated player. We opened the game. Uh, with him running here on an off-tackle play. And you can see that he came to play, ran hard, picked up nine yards. Uh, we had a setback with a penalty, went on the first and 19 here. And Jim throws out to uh, Higgins for a first down. And as you know, Kenny had a great, uh, great, I'm going to call him Kenny now. I'm not calling You're not going to call him Pinky anymore? Any guy can catch like that, <laughs> switch to Kenny. <laughs> this is bootleg. Around. What a guy, catch this is. It's a great catch. Watch this. Uh, uh, beautifully he keeps his feet in uh, as he catches the football. Well, that's something. And that's Kenny Higgins. That's Higgins again. <laughs> <laughs> we, we stalled here and went to the field goal and missed the field goal. And Jim, that's no way to start a game. You drive down there and get in for a chip shot and miss it, but that's the way it goes. And especially in Madison, because they're pretty rowdy when it gets going well, their way. They were a little rowdy uh, this evening. There's no questions about that. Here we come right back and throw to Higgins again for first down. Here's the big play, third and 20 after a penalty. Jim goes back to pass and puts up the deep one for Johnny Colasar, 47 yards. That was a key play uh, on this drive that scores the touchdown. Uh, here, Thomas Wilshire bangs in, uh, carries a fellow with him right in the end zone. And um, that was uh, the first score of the game. Getting on the board first against Wisconsin, a key. I think so. Especially a team that's upset-minded and, you know, and ready to play. Like, um, it's, it's really to your advantage to score first. Let them know that, you know, you came to play. Here, Armand Trotter, fine back, uh, goes up the middle for a good game. And they moved the ball uh, a little bit on us, not, not too much in the first three periods, so uh, we were in pretty good shape. Uh, here they hit the fullback on a uh, bootleg play and hit him several times, uh, bootlegging out of there. They go for the field goal after they're stopped and uh, kick it through, and it's a 7-3 game at this time. They went to the short passes. A lot of people, you think, are going to do that against you? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a good way to move the ball and possess the ball, really. Here they throw, and Andy Mulder makes a great diving interception. Had three for the night in the gym, which is really something. And the defense came up with big plays this game. Right. Second and five, Gerald White breaks a tackle, comes up for a first down running hard. I thought our backs ran hard in the game, and uh, they knew they had to do that with Jamie out of there. Here's uh, Thomas Wilshire again, same play, same result, scores a touchdown, and we go up in the second period, 14-3. to three. In a game like this on the road, did you think that, okay, 14-3 is a good way to get going, we need a little more? Need a little more. You'd like to go in a little something extra, and Andy Moeller's going to give it to us again. Uh, this is his second interception, and uh, gets us down in there, and Jim goes back and throws again, hits Higgins again uh, at the 20. Now we're in field goal range, which is what we uh, intended to do. We only had a little bit of time left after the interception. And here, uh, Moon kicks it through. And we go in at halftime, Jim, leading 17-3. 17-3 at halftime, you're ahead. But I know that it, it seemed to me, watching the game, the, the offense really wasn't clicking yet. You had to be a little concerned about that. Well, the offense, uh, actually, the movement that it got in the first uh, half were all on big plays and big pass plays. You know, you're not always going to get those. Uh, would have liked to rush the ball a little bit better. But um, when you lead by 14 points at halftime against anybody in the Big Ten, Jim, that ain't too bad. <laughs> and you're feeling pretty good at that point anyway. Meanwhile, there's more coming as the second half explosion comes your way from Michigan when Michigan Replay continues. Again, against Wisconsin, but at 17-3 at halftime, you're still not out of the woods. What kind of adjustments did you make at halftime against Wisconsin? Well, actually, we made, uh, you know, some adjustments offensively, some blocking adjustments. Defensively, we really hadn't been hurt too much on anything the first half. 
so, uh, you know, we felt pretty good that we could control them in the second half. And one of the things about the second half is did you go long opening up. Did you think you could go long on them? Well, yes. Uh, a couple occasions here we froze the free safety and Greg McMurtry uh, ran right in behind him and the cornerback eventually caught him. But uh, that was a big play on a second down and six. In your first series of the that second half? That was the first series, right. And here on third and goal, uh, Jim makes a fake and hits uh, Gerald White uh, right in the end zone for a touchdown. And uh, that was a big drive and a quick drive, Jim, and uh, gave us a 24 to 3 uh, lead. At that point, you've got to be feeling like, okay, that was key for us. Now we just kind of build on it and use control of control right. the ball. Right, we tried to control the ball a little bit, uh, run, run the ball some, uh, but we. Uh, uh, really, we felt in the game that the passing game was in there so much that we might as well take advantage of it. And is that why you think Jim Harbaugh got the 310 yards, or you're just becoming wild? <laughs> no, I, I think it was some fight execution in there uh, when he threw the ball. But, uh, you know, it, it just, if they're going to stack up on the run, you've got to throw the football. Here, Jim runs the option play for a touchdown. This gives us a third quarter, 31-3 to lead, and now we're in command of the game. And the defense continues to play well. I thought uh, right up through uh, three periods it played extremely well. Here's a tip ball. And once again, Andy Moeller's in the right place at the right time. Three interceptions by a linebacker. I believe that's the first time that's ever happened to anyone of my teams that uh, one linebacker did that. Uh, once again, Kenny Higgins on a big play from uh, Jim Harbaugh. And we're down in scoring position again. Uh, and unfortunately. We had our lone turnover was this fumble. We had no interceptions. We had this fumble. And uh, you hate to have any, but uh, if you're going to have any turnovers in the game, just have one and then have the opponent <laughs> turn right around and give it back to you. And that that's was, the way to do it. That was kind of the way it went for Jim Hillis, the head coach <laughs> right. there at uh, right. Wisconsin. Right. You uh, come back, go to the air again. Jim goes back and, and hits Higgins again, coming across the middle. Yeah, protection, Jim. You can throw. You can throw on anybody. That's the key to a successful passing attack. We stalled here and went to the field goal. Pat Moons knocks it through. It's 34 to 3. And uh, the final score is 34 to 17. They got two fourth period touchdowns and uh, closed the gap somewhat. But the game was out of reach by then. Now this is the Budweiser play of the game. Here we are, Jim, with a, a third uh, down, 20 yards to go. Uh, Jim comes out and makes a draw fake in here and goes deep uh, to Colasar down here for 47 yards inside the 10-yard line on the first drive. And that kept that drive going, a third and 20. Very big play because that first touchdown was very important for us to get. So you go on to win the game big, 34-17, even with those two late touchdowns. Are you where you want to be? I know you're going to say no, but let's face it, this <laughs> well, team has gotten better every week, which is what well, you want. Well, we've gotten a little bit better, and, um, and uh, I thought the offense played pretty well, despite the fact we didn't have uh, Jamie Morris and Paul Jokic again, but um, we're in pretty good shape there. I thought the defense played a little bit better. Uh, Tony Gant didn't play, as you know, and Doug Mowry didn't play. Uh, hopefully, we'll have those back for Michigan from the state. So, you know, we're in pretty decent shape. Talk to me a little bit about the experience some of the kids get, maybe the depth players get, because they're critical as you head down a well, tough Big Ten schedule. It's like, it's like in the fourth period, we played them all at once, and they scored two touchdowns <laughs> on us. <laughs> but, you know, there's some good football players there, and uh, it's just a matter of getting some, you know, reserve strength in there. But I thought our first unit played pretty well in this game. The defense seemingly has gotten better week after week. Uh, have you been putting some emphasis on, ga on that and stopping the short pass? Because Wisconsin hit a few short passes early, and then that seemed to stop also. Well, it did up until the fourth period. You're right. And uh, I thought we did a good job. But, you know, those three interceptions really take the starch out of any passing attack, and uh, that really helped. But, um, yes, we're playing pretty well. I like to get a little more pressure on the passer. Uh, you know, like to do a little better in a lot of areas, but, you know, you're never completely satisfied. But I thought the defense played pretty well for three quarters. Offensively, very quickly, uh, would you like to see a little more consistency? There were some mistakes, yes. missed plays, maybe some we miscommunications. Pass, fumbled the ball, uh, had a, uh, Jim pivoted the wrong way a couple of times, uh, threw the ball away once, it cost us. <laughs> they're going to hear about that, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they're going to hear about all those things. But, you know, by and large, there are a lot of good plays by them. 
And uh, I think our offense is coming along. I really feel confident with the offense. I think no matter what the defense is, we'll move the football, at least get some points on the board. All right. Coming up, a special tribute for his 200th when Michigan Replay continued for Bo. Here are some very bright moments from just a few of those 200 wins. Two hundred victories, you know. I, uh, I imagine I know what you're going to say about all this. <laughs> no, it's nice to see all those um, games that we've won because, unfortunately, uh, when you're coaching, you <laughs> seem to always remember the ones you lose <laughs> more than the ones you win. I thought you'd say, "Oh, the only reason I've got two hundred wins because I've been around a long time." <laughs> I, I've said that all week, so I'm not going to repeat it again. No, it's um, that's nice and. Um, I think uh, the one thing that I have said that maybe I ought to say again is that uh, I feel privileged in college coaching to coach at two of the greatest schools in the country, uh, Miami of Ohio and the University of Michigan. And um, I think the, those two schools, as much as any other schools in the country, understand what college football is all about. They're exceptional programs. They've been run that way, not just when I was there. They just have always been top-notch program. So if you coach at those two schools, you've got a great chance to win 200. The other thing I know you enjoy, as we saw the feature, seeing some of those players and seeing the guys that you coached the in the past. Guys. The old yeah, guys. Barry Pearson picking off that interception in the Ohio State game and, and the old guys. Well, that's what it's all about. I even get along with you, John. Yeah, that's, and around. that's amazing. <laughs> but you also mentioned that after the Wisconsin game, Governor Blanchard called you up from the state of Michigan. Is right, that correct? Right, right, right. He said winning 200 games was the equivalent of something like uh, eight consecutive terms as governor. <laughs> <laughs> and he's young enough you he, think, may, he may last that long. Now, wait a minute. Do you think it was that tough winning those 200? <laughs> I don't know about that. I told him his job was a little more uh, difficult than mine. Well, you certainly <laughs> Michigan.